Hey guys, welcome back to the Kit Fox build. This is number two, and we're getting ready to head down to Lincoln, California. Tony has a prototype of a new tail system that I'd like to try and put my own little spin on this airplane. We are all packed up and ready to go. And yes, that's the Kit Fox we brought home. My brother ended up buying it. So now I'm building two of them. So we'll see you guys in Lincoln, California. I'll show you what's going on. So we made it to Lincoln over at uh, TK1 and got my airplane off the trailer. Tony has made these swing arms, which are beautiful, big pieces of aluminum. It's gonna sit about here. There's gonna be a plate welded into here. And then there's gonna be a bracket that welds or bolts onto top, onto top of that to grab the pivot here. The shock will be up in this triangle piece here and come out through the bottom of the airplane. And then up here, there's gonna be a scissor link that comes off the back and goes up to the back of, of this arm. So that'll give you your side to side rigidity. So we'll see how it works. Um, I'll have Tony explain a little more to you guys. So we're wrapped up here at uh, TK1, and this is what we've gotten done so far. We have a plate here that's gonna be the pivot, and then we have a mount in here for the shock. And Tony, how is this hole gonna come together and how's it gonna work? So there's how it cycles. Shock's buried up inside. Shock has multiple holes down the side that we could, that we could mount the, to the arm. We have a CNC billet bracket that bolts to the plate on this side, so we have some flexibility about where we can go with that CNC plate. We have a scissor piece that's in the mill right now. So you'll have a pair of scissor arms inside of here that deal with lateral stability. And that's it. Everything's and then perfect. this is the coolest part. So as many of you know, you have to usually bolt your tailwheel on, but Tony's gone and integrated the whole thing into this. Yeah, so this style, as well as our, uh, our standard tailwheel design, is integrated so the mount is part of the arm. It's not two separate pieces. So if we run over to the other side, same design here where it's all integrated into one assembly. Yeah, and that gives you the release as a normal tailwheel would. So it's pretty much acts as a normal tailwheel, correct? Right, absolutely. Okay, cool. we, can, we can do it in steering or, or full castering without any steering attached okay. to it with a locking mechanism. Awesome. And then uh, I wanted to let everybody know, this is not something Tony's doing. Uh, as like a kit or anything. This is my own spin that I wanted to put on the airplane. He happened to have the swing arms for another another project he's working on, is that correct? That's correct. All right. So these are prototypes for, just for Nick. So. All righty, well thanks Tony. No problem. Appreciate it. Everybody.